Hey guys, what's up? Zach Evanesh here, and I wanted to make sure that I um, address the final question from Kettlebell Interrogation. So uh, last night was on the phone with Jeff Newport. Uh, man, I think we did an interview over an hour and a half, and the last question that I didn't get to was uh, regarding fat loss and conditioning with kettlebells, and the question specifically was... Um, What's the best way to utilize kettlebells for conditioning and fat loss as a beginner? The number one thing you know, I'm a big fan of is still you got to develop your strength base. I know a lot of people when they think about fat loss and conditioning, they want you to go with circuits um, where you you know perform various different exercises of kettlebells, body weight, and whatever other movements that you're doing um, for predetermined reps and, and sets or possibly time. But what I still think is huge is putting muscle on the body so that it really revs up your metabolism. That's going to be critical. And that's why I like to see people still starting with a strength move uh, that's focused on building strength, adding muscle. And also that's a time to practice and develop skill in a specific movement. And because the question is specific to kettlebells, that first movement, maybe you want to use the kettlebell snatch. Uh, the kettlebell cleaning press, the double kettlebell push press, or the um, clean and uh, press, or the clean squat and press, some sort of combo lift. I would focus on getting three, four, or five quality sets in the five to ten repetition range. So that'll be your strength move. That'll be like your core lift. After that, uh, if you go back and listen to the call, which I will link up below. Um, and you'll, the link is at my uh, blog, undergroundstrengthshow.tv. You will uh, hear me talk about uh, kettlebell complexes, loaded conditioning. Those are the things that you want to incorporate for fat loss and for conditioning. In fact, a lot of the stuff that you're going to do for fat loss or conditioning, they kind of go hand in hand. They're both going to work. Um, they're going to work with each other. Okay, They're going to be complementary. So... Crank out a basic lift, and uh, if you heard the call last night, you know the moves that I'm a big fan of, and then go for timed rounds or circuits or maximum rounds in you know, a 20-minute time period. The other thing i got to say is don't treat kettlebells um, as the only tool or the end-all, be-all training tool. So if you see my gym or my own personal workouts, a lot of body, uh, barbells, body weight, dumbbells, sandbags, strongman and odd object implements these are all part of the overall program the overall system i think you'll get better results if you um implement various training tools and various methods but don't be confused don't focus on just conditioning and light weights get strong move some heavy poundages and that's going to help you pack on muscle and the mere fact that you're putting muscle on your body is going to hype up your metabolism help you burn fat around the clock and of course, your training is not just what's done in the gym. It's everything you do outside of the gym or wherever you train. You might train in your backyard, basement, garage. You're a cellar dweller. You know, those are the kind of hardcore uh, people that uh, Brooks Cubic speaks about and, and Iron Mind people talk about that, the cellar dwellers. You've got to do all the stuff outside of the gym or whatever it is that you're training. Your nutrition, your sleep, all that stuff has to be dead on. So... If we're giving each of those things 33% and 33% is training, 33% is nutrition, 33% is rest, if you're missing any of those, um, you know, you're basically average. You have like, you have a C. In fact, you're, you're less than C. You're almost, you're almost uh, at like a D. So what I would do, and this is critical, is just use your common sense with your nutrition, get plenty of rest, train hard, be consistent. Okay, and I don't, I mean, I know I gave you a little bit of percentages, you know, training is 100%, nutrition is 100%, there's no, you know, this is only, uh, you know, valued or worth 10% of, you know, your overall results, it's all got to be 100%, so, um, big believer in starting off with uh, the way I told you to, follow those uh, combat complexes and the loaded conditioning, that stuff is beastly. If you really want to, you know, go through like some of the um, combat type training, I've got a cool DVD out. Plug it, baby. 
kettlebells for combat athletes, and um, I will link that up below as well. All right, Zach Evnish, UndergroundStrengthShow.tv. Jeff Newport, uh, thanks for an amazing call, and everybody that was on the phone, and uh, anybody that listened to the replay, thank you very much. I, I thought it was great. We really unleashed awesomeness, and I'm honored that I was part of um, that crew of people that were being interviewed, guys such as Pavel, Kenneth J., David Whitley, really, you know, top-notch guys, without a doubt. So thanks, dudes. Peace out. Take care. Comb your hair, brothers.